The main goal of the One Piece series is to obtain the legendary treasure, One Piece. Now, as you know, the One Piece is said to have been found by Gold Roger or Gold D. Roger, the King of the Pirates or the Pirate King, along with his crew. It is rumored to be held on the island of Raftel, but a misconception is that a lot of people are adamant that it is definitely on Raftel. Now, whether or not it is, is a completely different discussion. Like, that's a whole other video. But, I like to point out that no one has ever actually said the One Piece is on Raftel. Guaranteed, I know that. No one has ever done that. There is no reason to believe that if somebody tells you that. The One Piece is just most likely on Raftel, as only Gold Roger and his crew had ever been there. No one else had been to the island. No one else had found the One Piece beside Roger. So it's only likely that Roger would leave his treasure somewhere where nobody could get to it. And the only place so far that we know of that is unobtainable even by the Yoko is the last island that I will be calling it, and Raftel. Now, before I get into this, I think I need to explain what Raftel is and where Raftel is. So, as you know, the island in the Grand Line are mag magnetically charged, and the log post will lock onto a specific path when you re-enter the Grand Line, and you will take that path. There are various islands. I'll have a diagram up on screen from the anime and manga that will explain this better. But the whole theory originally was that all the islands would lead, all those islands would lead to a single meeting point. All like seven, I think it's like seven different paths, I believe, but would meet at a single point at the end of the Grand Line. No matter what path you took, they all meet up at the single path that is the end of the Grand Line. Now, originally, we believed that was Raftel. However, in the Zoark, it is revealed that that is indeed not Raftel. That is what I will be calling the Last Island. All the information the Straw Hats attained while they were on the island of Zo should have been attained when they arrived at Last Island. Now, I'd like to remind you, that the last island, which is the only thing I can think to call it, and we don't have a name for it, is not Raftel. Now, what you may be wondering is how you get to Raftel. Well, that last island isn't Raftel. Rather, you have to attain the four road poneglyphs. The four road poneglyphs are four special, unique poneglyphs that contain the location of both four specific islands in the new world. And through and once you have been to all those islands, they will form they will they will form a square in the ocean. They'll form a square. They'll be like a kind of like a square in a way. And then they will all intersect at a single point. That intersecting point that the navigator, in our case, Nami, will be responsible for pinpointing, will be the location of the legendary island that is Graftel. This is the reason nobody else has attained the One Piece. You not only need to obtain all four road poneglyphs, and you need to remember that one of the road poneglyphs is currently in the possession of Yoko Big Mom, and the other rogue poneglyph is in possession of Yoko Kaido, and the other one is missing, and the other one is on the island of Zo, being guarded by Inurashi and Nekamamushi, who are both former members of the Roger Pirates, and who also sail with Whitebeard for a little bit. So yeah, these are not easy to get your hands on. You're either fighting Avril level opponents or Yoko level opponents. I mean, so you can't just get your hands on a rogue poneglyph. I wish you were that simple, but it is not. Now, that is where the One Piece is located. The island of Raftel, and that is where Raftel is located. Now, what else do we know about the One Piece 
and how much has it been mentioned. Well, that information is few and far between. It's actually only been mentioned by a couple of characters that would actually know what it is. It had been mentioned by Rayleigh. Rayleigh, well, I didn't tell them about it. We do know he knows that it, he knows that it's existence as a member of the Roger Pirates and Roger Vice Captain. We also know that he indirectly confirmed his existence when asked by uh, when he stayed silent. So we knew he was keeping something from them. He knows something about it because he didn't answer Usopp's question. He, he, he pretty much implied, oh, there is an answer to your question. I just don't want to give it to you. When Usopp asked him, is the legendary treasure real? Lucy, of course, stopped him, but you didn't see really smirk. So he obviously knows there's something going on with the treasure. And Oda had actually concerned in an interview that the One Piece is a real treasure. The One Piece does exist. It is a thing. So to anybody who's like, One Piece is a friendship, it's a straw hat, it's the adventure, no. But One Piece is a legitimate treasure. It is this. It is real. It is something you can touch. Now we also know, on a side note, that the Ryu Ponagus is it, it believed it to be on Rathdale. We could be wrong about this, but that is the only place we can believe it is. But just like with that, all we have to go on are rumors that only the Roger Pirates have ever been there. This isn't something people talk about. In fact, I would be willing to go into forest to say the rest of the supernovas probably don't even know about it. Because most of the supernovas don't, like, I don't think Kid would have stopped and helped Crocus. And you remember, Crocus was the one who t originally told the Straw Hat about Rathdown. And I don't think Kig would have stopped and can and been nice enough to Crocus that he would like be willing to tell them. Crocus most likely saw Roger in Luffy and was like, okay, this is clearly the kid. Shanks also obviously had to meet Crocus when him and his crew re entered the Grand Line. It had never touched on, but Shank was in the East Blue when he gave Luffy the hat. He obviously met Crocus when he re entered. So we obviously must have told Crocus there's this kid named Monkey D. Luffy and he's just like Captain. So it is very likely that that was the reason Crocus told the Straw Hat. Now, what I want to talk about with that is that that gives the Straw Hat a major advantage in attaining the One Piece. Most crews don't even know Raftel of this and don't honestly know where the One Piece is. They're just hoping they find it. Like, it's just a hope thing. Because most crew, you would, you would need to either go to Zo and get the inner Narashi and Neko the Mushi to give you information, and or you would need to have Crockett give you the information, or Rayleigh. And none of the other supernovas have been in a position where they could be given that information. So that gives the Straw Hat a major advantage over the rest of the uh, Supernovas in terms of attaining it. Now, as for what the One Piece is, we have no idea. Um, the information on it is incredibly far between. As I said, the few and far between. We know it's real. Whitebeard vaguely talked about it upon his death. She mentioned, she mentioned this. He mentioned that Dengoku the Navy, and the old bastards in the world government fear the giant war that will engulf the world when the One Piece is found. So while we don't know much, we know whatever the One Piece is, it's not just a shit ton of gold. We know that. If it was just a shit ton of gold, it would just make the straw hat really rich. No, whatever the One Piece is, whatever's on that island, the government is afraid of it. I am assuming my personal opinion or opinion theory, whatever, is that there's information regarding the boy centric. Well, on the Ryu Poglet, and the government is afraid of what would be done with that information got out. Maybe they, maybe they're afraid there'd be a rebellion of all the other kingdoms. Like, 
Alabaster, Drum Island, all the smaller kingdoms that Rosa would all rebel against them. Maybe that's why, but I could be wrong. That's just me taking a guess. But there are other things that are very odd that need to be discussed. Another thing is, of course, the fact that Whitebeard, when he died, Jet proclaimed to the world live, the One Piece is real. Because as we know, prior to his uh, death, before he turned himself into the Navy, Gold Roger had a meeting with Whitebeard where he offered to tell Whitebeard where the One Piece was. Roger would never stick or dip about this. Roger did not care. Roger was like, Whitebeard, you're a cool dude. You want to, I mean, he was just like, argh, Whitebeard, you want to know who the One Piece is, yo? Like, he was, he was open to telling him. Whitebeard declined, and he just wanted a family, but it is true for a fact that he did confirm at that moment. We had confirmation from both Whitebeard and Roger that the One Piece is a real thing. It is this. It's real. So, we don't need to worry about it being a myth. Oda, Whitebeard, and Roger have all confirmed it. Now, this is where things get interesting. This is where they get very interesting. Because beyond that, we don't know what the One Piece is. There is a famous theory that the One Piece is a weapon that will destroy the Red Line, thus uniting all the seeds. Hence the name One Piece. But, I don't believe that. And honestly, I don't know what I believe. Because... As I've told you, we have no information on what it is. All we know is that it's not some Wizard of Oz friendship bullshit. And that it's real. Well, that's it. So we know it's not like anything symbolic. We know it's a physical thing. We know it's a thing. We know it's a reward. And we know it's real. That's it. That's all we know. Uh, the characters that know of its existence are, I'll name a couple off the top of my head. We know, uh, Rod, we know what Rayleigh knows, knows about it. Nekonomuchi, Inarashi, I think they know. I'm not sure if they know or not. I could be wrong, they may not. But, uh, Buggy and Shanks could know. This is the thing, we don't really know, but we don't know how long Buggy and Shanks were with Whitebeard. But it is, uh, yeah. With Jenks, we don't know how long Buggy and Jenks were with Roger, but what I do know is that it is, I'm very hard pressed to say that they know the location of the One Piece, but then again, it's Jenks. Jenks may have figured it out on his own later on, but the Buggy death most likely does not know. But yeah, that is all for today's video. I wanted to go over everything we really know about the One Piece. Oh, and Raftel, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Tell me if you want more videos like this. I want to get back to doing the educational you know, explained videos. I know this was different than the power explaining videos, but this is a completely different thing. This is explaining an island and a treasure, not a ability. So I formatted it very differently. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, leave it a like, subscribe for more One Piece videos, and above all else, guys, have a great day. This is One Piece Nation, signing out. Check out my Twitter and Facebook, which are in the description box down below.